of fruit. Everybody say faith that is functional. Something that is functional is the ability of something to fulfill its purpose. When that started studying, I said, God, you good. You're taking us from purpose to productivity. And then you're saying faith that is functional. So you're getting us to a place to fulfill our purpose. In other words, again, to become productive. Yeah. Say that. Faith that is functional is the ability to fulfill its purpose. Its purpose. In math class, I'm not the most, you know, mean math with it, but I know a little bit of something, and what I don't know, I look up, right? Amen. In math, there is something called a function, right? It is one quantity or one value, which is the argument. The argument is the input. Everybody say input. In relationship to the output, that's what the function is. Everybody say output. output. It is the argument which you put in to the output. And normally with functions, Pastor, they're all based on real numbers. Yeah. In that, you have something that's real numbers and non-real numbers. I'm not going to get into that because I don't understand that myself. So I'm not going to tell you that. Pastor, I'm going to talk to you about that. Or ice. I'm going to talk to you about that because I don't know what that means. And somebody said, thank God for grace for college algebra, right? Anyway, inside of function, you have to put something in there to get something out. And it's the relationship between the two. And the two got to be real. So what you're telling me is that my reality, my input, of all hell is going on right now, and my reality that God going to bless me on the other side, that's my function. What are you telling me up in here? I'm preaching better than what y'all talking up in here. Good God, buddy. It is what we think it to be. It is what we put in. And what we get out. So what God is saying to us, our reality is that we're broke, busted, disgusting, you ain't got a man, you ain't got a woman, you got a half a person that ain't really your person that belongs to somebody else that they still got stuck on somebody else, da 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 ABC. That's the reality. That's the input. That's what you're putting into the equation. Good God of mine. But on the outside of the function is the reality that God got me right around through here. My money is bigger and better. My house got five bedrooms, three and a half baths, two car garage, an Acura, and a Range Rover in there, and I ain't got to pay my half price to all of them. Let me go to the auction. Thank you. Tell me. Thank you. Amen. That's the Faith that is functional means that we take the equations of our life and give them to God. Say amen. Boy, has God got something for us today. You hear me? Yes. And our scripture reading, we see this process of a function, right? Right. And I said to the Lord as I was studying, I'm not gonna preach this scripture before. He said you would talk about this part. Yes, right. So shut up, I'll be charged. Right. You've been telling me that a lot here, ladies. That's why I've been saying a whole bunch of shut up. Thank you, Nina, for telling me to shut up. Just shut up sometimes. That's a good place for us to get sometimes. You know what I mean? That's right. Ooh, God said, I got you. Shut your mouth. We see the centurion man has a function. He says, God, one of my servants is not going well. They're sick. They have the palsy. Palsy is a sickness, something that cripples you, and your body parts become immobile. Right, Pastor? Right. You become stuck. And oftentimes that palsy, whatever position you were in last, that's where you got stuck in. Over this last year, yes, we done had some good church, but some of us have been stuck in a palsy yes. from the last position that we were in. Boy, has God got something for us to do. He said, my servant is stuck in a condition, and I can't do nothing about this one. I know what authority is. I normally know how to work stuff out. Between me and Pastor, we can about figure some stuff out. You hear me? Yeah. But Pastor, this couple of stuff right here, we can't figure it out. But all we know is we're stuck in a little bit of a palsy. 
the sensations that he, he used to feel. When you're paralyzed, you don't feel those sensations. You don't feel your nerve endings. Spiritually, some of us have been in a palsy. You've been up in CGCT, but you've been stuck in your last position. The sensation that you got it when you came here, but when you left it, you didn't have it. Somebody said palsy. Pause. Who has God got something for us in year number two? He says, God, I need you to do something. Now, this particular centurion was a Roman. And he, in the custom, it was a Jewish celebration that Jesus was on his way to in Capernaum. And under customs, it is not lawful for a Roman to stop a Jew on their way to their customs. You know what I mean? So Jesus says to him, okay, you asked me to do something. I'm on my way to do it. This man realizing, Pastor, that he's not even worthy of what he asked for. Because he's a Roman, right? Anybody here like me, you're not worthy of half the stuff you've been asking God for. Right, right, right. Yeah. Good. The got a whole list of things that disqualify me by half of the stuff that I've been asking God for. Good God Almighty. Pastor, I got some stuff that if I was God, I wouldn't give it to me. So he said, God, guess what? You don't even have to come to where it's at. But if you just speak the word and let the word permeate through the atmosphere, because you know the devil, he has rulership over the atmosphere. God, I hope you get this word because we got to go from faith to function in 2013. Right? I said 13, right? Talking about this. God does things in threes. I ain't as crazy as you think I am. A little bit wacko, but not that wacko. So what happens? He says, God, I don't want you to come because I can't handle it. You know what I mean? But if you speak this, my faith says that I believe you enough that whatever word you decree out of your mouth, it can go all the way to that stuck situation and get it moving again. Do I have about 333 people here today that says, God, I don't know whether you can come to my house, but if you just speak a word, it can go through the atmosphere and reach my stuck situation and get it moving again. Everybody say faith that is functional. Praise God. That's right. So just 
Sí, sí, sí.